Welcome to Our Lady's Remedies. Let's begin. Luz de Maria is a mystic who in 1992 began to get messages from Our Lady, Jesus, and St. Michael. These messages are to guide us during some challenging times. A component of these messages are remedies that can be used when professional care is not available. A PDF was created called Medicinal Plants and was posted on the Luz de Maria website. The link is listed here for you and we'll also list it below. We highly encourage you to download a copy of this PDF as all of the information we're going to be talking about begins with this core format. In talking to people, we realized there was a lot of confusion around the remedies such as what dosage, what's right for me, is there a list, are there risks in taking these, exactly what does the Blessed Mother mean by infusion, is this something I can give my 88-year-old mom, can I take this with my medicine, how do I take these remedies, where do I buy them, you know, should I give them to my kids, you know, all of these things are really important questions. We would recommend to people to basically go and Google it. Google Luz de Maria remedies. However, the feedback was that there were more questions than answers. Um, and we thought that maybe we could pull something together that would make it a little bit easier to understand and a little less frustrating. Something that will answer what are the remedies? Where can you get them? How do you use them? When do you use them? And, you know, what are some of the warnings around it? This series contains a lot of information. In addition to the Medicinal Plants PDF, we have created a supplement which you can easily download. The supplement was created to give you an opportunity to prepare, to bring this information to your doctor and discuss what's right for you. So let's jump right in because the more you know, the more prepared you can be. Heaven recommends 19 plants, two holy oils, a vitamin, and water. Again, all of these are listed in the original core PDF, Medicinal Plants, and they're broken down into eight different subcategories on when to use them. There are many different forms of these remedies, essential oils, decoctions, teas, tinctures, creams, capsules, steam inhalation, aromatherapy, bathing, even eating. It's mind blowing the many different ways that you can take these remedies. We really took our time to think what is the best way for us to explain the remedies, how to take them, something that would be easy for people to understand. And then it hit us. It was easy. What we're going to do is we are going to walk you through one topic at a time and teach you a little bit about the remedies. We're going to go in alphabetical order. And what we're going to provide you with is what the remedies are, when you might use those remedies, how you can use those remedies, what are some of the warnings around them, and what the different forms are. Angelica, on May 24th, 2017, Our Lady said that serious illnesses would approach and they would attack the digestive system. Angelica is a plant that will help that. It contains compounds that can stimulate production of digestive enzymes and aid in the absorption of nutrients. It's been known to help with indigestion, bloating, and flatulence. The instruction by Our Lady was to use the whole plant. Angelica can be used as an essential oil, a capsule, or a tea, or a tincture. Some of the things that you need to be cautious about is if you're a diabetic. It could increase your blood sugar, blood pressure, respiration, and nervous system. 
To know what's right for you, check with your physician. Next up is Artemisia or Wormwood. On October 11th, 2014, Our Lady said that pestilence is renewed by those who serve the Antichrist and watch as the economy succumbs. Before this, I invite you children to resort to the health of the body by means of what nature provides for the good of the body in the face of the current disease, the use of Aratemisa annua. Our Lady also suggested the use of this plant to help boost the immune system. Our Lady recommends using this as an infusion, which is similar to a tea. The other forms are essential oil, capsule, and tincture. Some of the warnings are large doses could cause nausea, vomiting, vertigo, restlessness, and more. Check always with your doctor and make sure he recommends what's right for you. Blackberry. On October 13th, 2014, Our Lady said, Beloved, as a mother who sees beyond what you see, I ask you to eat the blackberry. It is a natural blood purifier, and this will help the organism become more resistant to the maladies that humanity will suffer. You ignore that a great part of the virus and bacteria that plague you have been created by man himself as a result of power over all of humanity. Our Lady asks us to eat blackberry and mulberry. In addition to eating blackberry and mulberry, you can get blackberry and mulberry through a capsule form, through an oil, through a tea, or through a tincture. Blackberries are generally regarded as safe, but some people have allergies. As always, please consult your physician. Up next, the very beautiful Calendula. In April the 4th of 2019, St. Michael gave Luz de Maria the following message. A strange illness is coming to humanity. High fevers, wounded skin will be a scourge from one instant to another, for which you should use the plan called Calendula. St. Michael gave no direction on how to use this. You can use calendula as a cream, which is very common, essential oil, a tea or tincture. Some of the warnings, if you have any type of allergy, or you should definitely be cautious. And as always, always, every person's unique. Use this and check with your physician. On January 31st, 2015, Our Lady said, Another disease is spreading, affecting the respiratory system. It is highly contagious. Have holy water, use the white hawthorn and the echinacea plant to fight it. Our Lady gave no direction on how to use echinacea. Echinacea is great for your immune system and your respiratory system. And it can be used as a capsule, a tea, or a tincture. Some of the most common side effects are stomach issues such as constipation, diarrhea, and heartburn. Note, you have to be very careful when you have allergies. Please check with your doctor to see what's right for you. Eucalyptus. On December 15th, 2020, the St. Michael Archangel said, The plague is approaching. Continue to use the oil of the Good Samaritan, eucalyptus leaves inside the homes, burning them when necessary. St. Michael's direction, burn in the home. You can use eucalyptus as an essential oil or as a steam inhalation. 
Remember some of the warnings? You cannot eat the raw plant. It is not edible. Also, burning, be careful. Be careful with it around your eyes and around your mucous membranes. Euphrasia or eye bright. On May 24th, 2017, Our Lady said a disease is coming that will attack the eyes. For this, use the plant known as Euphrasia. Our Lady provided no direction for the use of this. Eyebright can be used as a drop, a capsule, a tea, or a tincture. Depending how you use Eyebright, there are different warnings. As always, please discuss with your physician. Garlic. On June 3rd, 2016, Our Lady told Luz de Maria that true plagues will come and that we should ingest a raw clove of garlic every morning. Our Lady said to ingest a raw garlic clove daily, but not to do garlic and ginger together. You can eat garlic. There's garlic as an essential oil, but you need to be very careful with that, or a pill form. And the warnings, be careful, too much garlic can hurt you. And as always, check with your physician. Ginger. On March 12th, 2017, Our Lady told Luz de Maria, As a mother, I ask you, observe as part of your diet for life the daily need to ingest vitamin C, to ingest raw garlic or ginger daily. Our Lady suggests ingesting raw ginger daily, but not together with garlic. Pick one or the other. Ginger can be taken as an essential oil, a capsule, tea, tincture, or you can eat it. Ginger is terrific, but if you consume a lot, there are some side effects. Also, be careful if you have allergies. And as always, check with your physician. Ginkgo biloba. On November 10th, 2014, Our Lady told Luz de Maria that a disease will come that will attack the nervous and the immune system, causing serious problems on the skin. She said to use the leaf of the nettle and the ginkgo plants. Our Lady gave no direction on how this should be taken. The most common way ginkgo is taken is in a capsule or a tea form. Ginkgo has few side effects. However, you can get a headache and a stomach ache from it, and you need to be very careful when you're taking blood thinners. Please check with your doctor to make sure if ginkgo is right for you. Moringa. On July 6, 2021, our Lord Jesus told Luz de Maria, My beloved people, to keep the immune system high, take Moringa for no longer than two weeks, then rest for three weeks, and begin again. Drink green tea without excess. We want to be clear here. Jesus said to take for two weeks maximum, stop for three weeks and take again. He didn't suggest anything further of the form on how to take Moringa. Moringa can be taken as a capsule pill or a tea. Do not use Moringa if you are pregnant. There's a certain time frame in which you can use it and you will need to stop. It can cause stomach upset and heartburn. And as always, check with your doctor about what is right for you. Mullen. On January 28, 2016, Our Lady said, use mullen and rosemary in discreet amounts. Our Lady gave no additional direction. Mullen can be taken in a capsule form, 
as a tea or as a tincture. Seeds of the mullein plant are toxic and it can cause skin irritation. As always, check with your physician about what is right for you. Next up, nettle. On November 10th, 2014, the Blessed Mother told Luz de Maria that a disease that will attack the nervous system and the immune system causing serious problems on the skin for which the leaf nettle and ginkgo plants would help. Our Lady gave no further direction on how to use nettle. Nettle can be taken as a capsule, a cream, a tea, or a tincture. Nettle can interfere with your blood pressure and your sugar levels. Check with your doctor to see what's right for you. Oregano is up next. On June 3rd, 2016, Our Lady said, Plagues will come that we should ingest a raw clove of garlic every morning or oil of oregano. These two are excellent antibiotics. If the oil of oregano is not available, oregano can be boiled to make an infusion. However, the oil of oregano is, be is the better antibiotic. Our Lady's Directions Use oil in the morning if not available via an infusion. Oregano can be in an essential oil, a capsule, tea, or a tincture. In the mornings, large doses of oregano can be toxic. Large amounts can be harmful to your digestion. Check with a healthcare professional about what's right for you. Next is pine. Our Lord Jesus Christ on January 3rd, 2019 gave the following message. Remain on alert. Serious epidemics are appearing before humanity and they attack the respiratory system for which I call you to use pinus needles and leaves with extreme prudence in doses no greater than twice a day in the form of a tea. We have clear direction from Jesus. Boil three tablespoons of pine needles and leaves in a liter of water and take one cup twice a day. Pine can be used in many ways, bathing in oil, tea, or tincture. Pregnant women should not use pine and be very careful if you have any allergies. In addition to Jesus, Our Lady on March 14th, 2021 said, Attention children, for various diseases, I have mentioned by divine will the use of pine. The Father's house does not abandon his children, warning and protecting them in advance. Rosemary, on January 28th, 2016, Our Lady said, Use mulberry and rosemary in discreet amounts. Our Lady's direction, use in discreet amounts. Of course you can eat rosemary, but you can also use it as an essential oil, a capsule, tea, or tincture. Generally, rosemary is safe. However, large amounts can make you sick. As always, consult your doctor when using rosemary as a supplement. And last, white hawthorn, which was recommended by the Divine Wisdom. No direction was given about white hawthorn. A common way to use white hawthorn is as a tea. Be careful using white hawthorn if you have any heart ailments. The oil of St. Michael. The oil of St. Michael contains geranium and lavender. On August 6, 2016, our Lord Jesus Christ said, 
have geranium with you. Call the oil of St. Michael, the archangel, by my children, in honor of my beloved archangel. You can make oil of St. Michael by using equal parts of geranium oil and lavender oil. The second oil on the list is the Good Samaritan oil. On December 15th, 2020, St. Michael the Archangel said, The plague is approaching. Continue to use the oil of the Good Samaritan. The oil of the Good Samaritan includes cinnamon oil, clove oil, lemon oil, rosemary oil, and eucalyptus oil. Good Samaritan oil is made with 8 drops of cinnamon, 15 drops of clove, 15 drops of lemon, 15 drops of rosemary, and 15 drops of eucalyptus oil. You can apply oils to your wrists, to your feet, you can even put some drops in a spray bottle with water and use it around the house. But remember, check with your health care provider to make sure that the oils are okay for you. Next up, vitamin C. On March 12, 2017, the Blessed Virgin Mary said, As mother, I ask you, Observe, as part of your diet for life, the daily need to ingest vitamin C. Easiest way to get vitamin C is with a supplement. However, did you know that the body does not produce vitamin C? Which means we have to get vitamin C through our diet. And there are so many foods that are rich in vitamin C. Let's go over a couple. Vitamin C and the orange, most common. But there's also the grapefruit, the lemon, the lime, broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, cauliflower. But if you really want to boost a vitamin C, one red bell pepper has enough for the entire day. Water. On October 13th, 2014, the Blessed Virgin Mary said, My beloved, utilize water that has been previously boiled and start now the detox of the organism, drinking as much water as possible so the organism will start to purify. No other information was given by Our Lady regarding water. That's it for the remedies. Join us next week, Wednesday, October 15th at 8 o'clock for the premiere of part two of Our Lady's Remedies.